Now talking about your rotations, again we talked on the ball, we're back here, we're being able to protect our fours and fives. We don't want to get posted up, so we want to be up the lane, being able to protect. We also want to be able to get in front of the post. If Corey back here is dropped back low, right, and that ball were to go to the wing, not only is he stuck behind the post, he's never going to be able to get to the corner. We're not worried about this pass going over the top, because if Corey could get in a full front post, we've got our five man here to be able to protect, and we're in better position to be able to go to the guard. So we've gone from the top to the wing. We're in good weak side help. We're in good weak side help with our five man. Now as that ball gets rotated to the corner, we're going to attack the ball up here. Good. And here comes our three man down here with a, with a full front on the low post. You notice our guard here is guarding against the high post. We don't need Sean to drop down here and give any more protection. He's worried about this next pass as a three-point shooter. Our guard on the other side has all the skip passes. Again, we've allowed our five man to be able to protect the rim. So we're gonna talk about our rotation. Ball's at the top of the key. Our guards are talking about the next position they have. You notice that Sean over here, one pass away, our guards always have the next pass. So he's got this pass out to the wing. He would also have any skip pass. So let's see that, that skip pass comes all the way to the corner. Sean's gonna be able to close out to that. Matt comes over here for the next pass. Maddie's over here for all skip passes. Let's bring it back to the top. Now in a normal rotation, Ball goes to the wing this time. We've attacked with a high hand. We're fronting the post. We know who we have over here. We're pointing to the ball. We're pointing to our man. Ball goes to the corner. Now we've come in here, dropping on that low post to be able to protect, right? What we now, have, again, we talked about this. This offensive player has the ball in the corner. There's nowhere for him to go. We have all of our defense here in an overload. They've overloaded against us. We've overloaded against them. Now the rotation out of there is where it takes some practice to be able to rotate out. So as that ball goes to the wing, our three man who is at a full front is going to go to the opposite wing directly and he's got to be able to beat the ball there, but the ball has to go from the corner to the wing to the top to the wing for us to be able to get there. Let's bring it back to the corner and show why we do that. For instance, if we had told Matt from fronting this low post that he had to get to the top, right, not only would a skip pass confuse us, but when this pass goes to the wing and he has to go to the top, that's going to be a tough closeout for us to be able to do. So we're going to rotate our guards where Matty's going to come and take that. Matt's run out to this wing to be able to guard. And then we're back in our normal 3-2 alignment. The only difference is, you know, we're up with a different guard at the top of the key instead of our three man. But that has to go from where the offense has overloaded us from one side, rotated us out, and now we've kept our fours and fives in good defensive position, and our guards are out there identifying the three-point shooters.